Ah, greyhounds. They're absolutely beautiful, majestic dogs. And I bet you're thinking to yourself right now, kind of want to adopt one of them. Well, you can. We have Matt Lyons and Kate Scholes. From Greyhound Adoptions, they're here with a little bit more. And it's funny, we have uh, someone who works in our internet department has adopted a dog from you. Uh, Emily, who we just had on the show, has adopted a couple dogs from mm -hmm. you. So you're pretty, uh, pretty happening. We in are, we're in it, yes. Uh, let's talk about the organization first. For those of us who don't know, what is Greyhound Options? So what do you do? basically, Greyhound Options is an all volunteer nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. um, and our mission really is to rehome retired Greyhounds. And one of the ways that we do that is to. Um, educate and to uh, give out information about greyhounds and see what they're like um, and can kind of uh, g get to, to um, show at meet and greets. We go out and meet and greets, we go on TV, uh, we also have uh, a couple events uh, during the year that we like to invite the public to come, come and take a look and see what they're like. I think there's a lot of misconceptions out there about greyhounds because uh, they're a large animal, because they, uh, you know, they're known for greyhound racing. A lot of people think that they're active dogs, they need active homes. They're really on, they're they're known as um, 45 mile uh, couch potatoes. Um, <laughs> basically, they're they're sprinters, not long distance runners. So basically, a couple of walks during the day, um, um, and pretty much they will if they find a couch or a bed, they that's pretty much where they they like to stay. Well, it's funny because I was I was talking to you earlier and I said, well, for those times that they do need to get a run, are they dogs that can't really work in apartments? And that's not true, dogs, they work great in apartments. Yeah, um, many of our adopters uh, either live in uh, condos or apartments, and um, you know they um, really just need a, a spot for bed. <laughs> uh -huh. And they love um, going out for walks, um, even more than running, I think. Uh, I say, look at it, and they're not even, uh, they're not even turned no, off by all these studio even. lights, they're just relaxing. No, they're pretty yeah. relaxed, yeah. Now you were saying, you were mentioning how you have a, a bunch of events throughout the year. We do. And uh, that's part of the reason, I don't know if it's all of the reason, but part of the reason that you're <laughs> dressed in the attire that you are you have a golf tournament coming up tell us a little bit about it um yeah uh usually this is my my daily <laughs> outfit your, your workwear um, but uh yeah we do have a golf tournament coming up uh it's on july 11th it's at uh, the east mountain uh, country club in westfield uh it's one uh, one o'clock shotgun start um and we're taking applications you can uh, go to our website greyhoundoptions.org and under the events section um find the application um and uh, yeah, it's, uh, I've been there uh, four years now, and um, it's always a fun time. And um, you know, we'll raise some more money uh, to take care of um, all these dogs. Now, what do you love about greyhounds? I know that the obviously the two of you love them. What do you think people at home? Uh, what what do they like about them so much? Um, I I think in general they're they're very very smart dogs. They're very um, affectionate. They're very loyal, mm -hmm. um, and you know they they form a very strong bond. Um, and they come in all different shapes, sizes, colors, personalities. Mm -hmm. And um, through our agency and through fostering, we um, can find the dog that's going to fit with you and fit with your household. Because that's what you need. Family. You need that, you, uh, that really good fit or else it's, it's not going to be a great environment. Now, the dog that we're looking at right now, who looks just like it's about nap time, uh, that adoption is pending. But the dog that I was patting that's earlier... Right. Uh, available for adoption. Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee. Now tell us about Mr. Lee and what might be a good suitable home for Mr. Lee. Um, he, he's um, been in foster care um, for uh, a little while now and we've gotten a good idea of, um, of what type of home he'd fit into. Um, he's, he's so relaxed. He's, he's very relaxed. He's very easygoing. Um, he'd love to have somebody around um, in the house. He, he doesn't need a yard. He enjoys um, going walks. for his walks, yep, yep. Um, but I think <laughs> in the studio here, he just um, a he's come up to every single person for pets. I would say um, so, and he's made himself at home on our couch. Yes, absolutely. And he has. So uh, people can go to greyhoundoptions.org for yep. more information. On people Facebook. can attend uh, on Facebook. People mm -hmm. can go to the golf tournament coming up. Absolutely. Yep. Thank you so much for sharing these dogs. They're absolutely beautiful. Thank you for dogs. having us. Oh no worries. I just Thank want you. to cuddle up to that dog right now. <laughs> Ahead in